Chris Orsini here, and today I'm going to go over how we can create form groups inside of DocuSign. I've got a couple requests on how to do this, and now just keep in mind the uh, the agent cannot do this. This has to be uh, the market center has to do this. So if you're an agent watching this and you'd love to see uh, form groups in your DocuSign, uh, go ahead and forward this video over to your market center leadership. Uh, and they should be able to make this happen for you. So this is how I set up groups for uh, the two market centers that I, I work with. Um, so to do this, you have to be in your uh, DocuSign admin account. So you see here, I'm logged into our Boca East account here. So we will go into the admin tab and we're going to click forms. And you'll see here are all the form groups that I've created. So we have buyer, commercial, listing, office contract, so on and so forth. Um, and what I did was I just took the templates that we had in dot loop and just copy them over here. It was pretty simple. Didn't take me a ton of time to do. Um, so to do this, you simply click add up at the top right corner and you click add group. We're going to name the group. I'm just going to call this test and we have to choose which office it's for. We only have one option here and I'm going to click use selected. Now keep in mind as soon as you create this form group uh, your agents are going to be able to see this uh, in their form groups. So um, as soon as I create test any agent who goes into DocuSign rooms and goes to add a document will be able to see this folder test. Uh, so I'm going to click add and let me move my face out of the way there. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see here's our test group folder. And I actually created one previously, so I'll delete that old one to avoid any confusion. Um, and we have this add forms button. Uh, so it says there are no forms here, so we'll click add forms. And we can choose between our libraries. So we have our office forms or our state forms. Uh, so I'm going to click on the state forms and click use selected and just select a few. So we would select which ones we want with this checkbox here. We can require a document if we want in any of these fields and we can even preview a document to make sure that that's the version of the document that we want to use. So click save. And now this was only the off the state forms and I want to add the office forms as well. So I'm going to click these three dots on the right and this is where we can delete it or copy it or, you know, make any changes we want to this folder or this group. Uh, and I'm going to click manage forms. And instead of the state forms, now we're going to look at the office forms and click use selected. And again, we have the same, uh, same options here. We can select the forms and even require a form if we so desire. And I will click Save. So now that we've created this group, uh, I'm going to click this and we can toggle the drop down. So just in case you, uh, I, you know, I didn't go over that, if you click that arrow, it's how you can preview what documents are in there. Uh, it's very helpful to be able to collapse that because as you see, this is a lot of documents right here. So that would take up a lot of screen real estate. So I'm going to go log out of this account and log into my account to show you what this looks like on the agent uh, on the agent side. Um, now, keep in mind, I am not licensed, so I only get access to our office forms, not the state forms, but I can still demo this pretty well. Um, so I'm just going to go into just whatever... Um, uh, no, not that one. I'm going to go into a room that I've got and let's do this one and show you how this works. We're going to click on the documents tab and then click add and choose DocuSign forms. Now what we're used to doing uh, is just skipping right down to this, uh, this select DocuSign forms under select library and choosing state or office and then scrolling through this massive list or typing in the form that we're looking for. Now I'm going to go to a different room because I realized I added a bunch and this isn't going to be a good example. So I'm going to jump into, uh, let's, let's do this one. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, choose DocuSign forms. And rather than clicking uh, into the library, we're going to click up here where it says uh, DocuSign Forms Library and change that to DocuSign Forms Group. And here we can choose which group we want. Now, I like I said previously, I, I did do this for two market centers, so I do get 
uh, two market centers folders, uh, you're not going to have duplicates here. Don't worry about that. Um, so here's all of ours, and here's the test group that I created. So I'll click test, and here's all the documents that I had in there. You see that one is required, like I had marked it, and then I can select whichever ones I want and add them. And this is great because now the agents don't have to fiddle around with what documents they need for the transaction. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, uh, please let me know. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me or see me chris at kw.com or you can comment on the video. Uh, and if you'd like to see more videos, uh, I you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on KW Connect and you can like my Facebook page, uh, Chris Orsini, KW Tech Trainer. Thank you.